I feel like watching a soft porn. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, today we're gonna check out Sky Life again. This time with the video, this woman can talk to aliens. Hey, it's 2022. Nothing shocks me anymore. Let's have a look. If I weren't experiencing this reality, it would seem insane to me. Do you believe you're an alien? Definitely. I can open up the portal. Speak your own version of light language as well. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, blah, blah. I need to keep my hands on the wheel. I've been wanting to meet Heather Activation Vibration for three vibration. years, I think. I've been listening to Heather's affirmations every morning for a year. Heather travels all over the world. She has a place here in California. She claims to speak alien language. People call it light codes or light language. <laughs> In the spiritual world, there are people who claim that they can connect with different extraterrestrial beings, speak light language. They actually feel that they've come to Earth from another part of the galaxy. I 100% believe in aliens at this point. I'll have a better idea if maybe there is something to this alien language she's speaking, or maybe my bullshit meters will detect if it's completely a scam. I don't think you have an intact bullshit meter left. Anyone would be able to do this. It At would all. be her. Let's get out. She's coming. Uh. Ah! <laughs> Can I tell you something? I've been wanting to meet you for like two years. Yeah. I've been feeling you like you've been coming through the realms recently. What does that mean, coming through the realms? Like you've been appearing in different realities, your name. This, that, ideas, yes, okay. Yeah, I feel her. Different realms, different realities. YouTube. So, welcome to the portal. Oh, uh, that's Where what I paganism live, leads to, portal. man. Really? There's a resonant vibe. There's lots of synchronicities yeah. happening already. So we have Sekhmet over here. What's his name? Sekhmet. <laughs> what does that mean? It's actually the lion goddess from Egypt. He's a guy, but genders are not so like, relevant. So it's non-binary <laughs> yes. cat. He, he is. He honestly is. He likes to climb things. He honestly is. Let me tell you how this cat feels. He honestly is. <laughs> non-binary. Really interesting tricks. Wow. Can we like jump on it? Do you want to give us a little tour? Sure, yes. There's different crystals actually aligned throughout the place, all set with intention to like hold a specific frequency so that you feel good, so that you feel nourished, so that you feel love. Let's eat crystals! <laughs> Welcome. Can we talk about this beautiful altar over yes. here? Yes. We have a bunch of different beautiful things that altar. are energetically representative and like symbolic of certain frequencies to invoke certain energies. Invoke certain demons. Yeah. Yes, Perhaps. she actually just Maybe. came to me. It was a gift. It's like, like Harry Potter. I just when he gets the broom in the mail. It wasn't exactly like that, but like it was like that. Can we Do you pull it out? Yes. Yeah, like, touch it. Totally. Yes. Whoa, this is cool. <laughs> this is a vibe for you. Oh, you look incredible. Socks? The purple vibes. You, the banana socks. You chose your socks to match. Like, segment. Do you clear. like it? Segment is a little <laughs> tearing up the sacred broom. Segment. <laughs> it's not like mm. I uh, ride this broom at night and it comes alive and this is what I. No, <laughs> it's more just like. <laughs> An energetic representation of magic. Yeah, exactly. This is what you're involved in. This is ritualistic magic. Of course, it is as far from God as you can ever be. To your music every morning for about a year. That is incredible. I just can't thank you enough because it really makes a difference in my day. There's definitely a what time does? in my life where I struggled a lot with wanting to get out of bed and felt a lot of depression and anxiety and like would just wake up anxious listening to those. <sighs> it's been actually like a pillar of my morning routine. I love that so much. <laughs> it's so epic. Let's see the rest emotion. of the beautiful Always. portal. So welcome to the garden. These are oranges. So good. What do you eat 
only breath and magic. I mean, you're not actually breath and No, I'm not actually. <laughs> I know that's a real thing though. I haven't eaten meat in 11 years, actually, until I just did ayahuasca two weeks ago. And I had this whole thing come through where it was like, I partly identify with the fact that I've been vegan, that I haven't eaten meat for over 11 years. And I'm like, I need to dissolve that ego. I want to sit down and really- yeah. It's actually not the worst epiphany that she had there. Even Orthodox church fathers say that if you build an ego around fasting practices, you should stop fasting because that defies the purpose of fasting. Veganism, not eating meat, is a fast. Don't get it twisted. No human being can live as a vegan long term. That being said, obviously, especially vegans, build huge egos around veganism, around their newly found identity. It is a very good idea to shatter that ego and to ground yourself. Really yes. dive into all of this. Let's do it. So let's go back to the altar and let's like it. sit. The altar. It's quite hilarious actually because Buddha himself, if you look into his teaching, was completely against idol worship. He didn't want humans to worship him. He wanted to point people towards a truth, the universal truth. But of course, people made it about the messenger and not about the message, started deifying Buddha. Yep, yep, yep. Humans. That's nice. What's it called? A hand it's drum? A hand pen, but hand it's pen. a space drum. Pen. It is a UFO. Pen it's pen. actually a space drum. In your lap. <laughs> that plays sound frequencies that are like cosmic binarial beat sound frequencies that register to certain parts of your brain and activate yeah. certain awarenesses and consciousnesses and abilities to feel. Same thing as light language. I don't understand. It's okay, you don't have to. Who <laughs> still gets it? How do I do it? It's kind of like you're pulling the sound out. My little necklace is getting in the Which, way. Which, by the way, I love this. I've seen them before. It's called The Shift, and it's made by Camuso, and basically it helps you breathe slower. And it activates the vagus nerve. The straw could never do this job. Buy my product. Which we know helps you go into the parasympathetic nervous system and get out that, of the crazy yeah. fight or flight anxiety that we're often in. So I'll show you. It helps me so much, especially when I'm working, because it's a physical reminder to breathe. So this is the shift by Camuso Design, and also want to thank them for sponsoring this video. Thank you for bringing it up, and well, so you can use my code Skylife for a 15% off discount, and the links in the video description. When you channel light She's language, mm -hmm. you do a specific breathing to get into it. Yes, usually different every time, but it does require centering my energy so that I can open up and channel. We're not gonna ask what she channels. You're gonna be no. able to show us. Aliens. Yes, absolutely. I would yeah. love to co-create a space, a container to where you feel comfortable. And if Why co-create a space? You are the host. You are creating the space. Soul to speak your own version wow. of light language but as well. Cool. I mean, I don't know if I'll be able to do it, but I'm so open. The human doesn't need to know. The soul will get it. I'd say over the past, like, Eight years, really, I've been connecting with cosmic beings, ETs specifically. A few years ago, I was completely sober, laying in my bed, and I felt called to meditate. And as I was meditating, these three light beings appeared on each side of my bed, like kind of what you would think an alien would look like, where they were really tall, their heads were different shapes, and their arms and their legs were more lengthy, and they had maybe about three or four fingers I couldn't fully see, but they weren't physical form, they were emanations of light. I woke but up you were next. awake. I, I had a similar mushroom trip. I'm not even joking. I was it's awake. True. I was not sleeping, I wasn't in a dream, and they lifted out my light body so I could see it, almost to show my human. This like spiritual body of mine, this aura, this energy that we all talk about, it's real. The next morning, I started thinking about Arcturians. Arcturians, what are Arcturians? Listen, if you think I'm too skeptical, let me tell you a little bit about my own experiences. I was heavily into lucid dreaming, astral projections, out-of-body experiences, mushrooms, ayahuasca for many, many years. However, in the end, I started to question those experiences. Where do they come from? Are they always benevolent? Is it really the truth that we perceive in those states? No matter if it is drug-induced or not, it could happen in meditation. How do we truly know that it is true what we see? Maybe we are being misled. Let me give you an example. Imagine walking down a bazaar and you have many vendors trying to sell you things. Some vendors are selling fruits, 
other vendors supposedly sell you real Rolex watches. How do you know they're real? Maybe you're being deceived. Highly likely you're being deceived. In the spiritual realm, you don't have only benevolent light beings, even though they appear as such. You have tricksters, you have jesters, you have all kinds of demonic forces in the spiritual realm. If you don't know what is communicating with you, you can never distinguish between right and wrong. You can be even further deceived. Now you believe you're channeling light beings. What if they are demons? Could you tell the difference? The name of Arcturians just came, came to through. You? Fully, fully came through. I had not heard of them before. And they, you sure? They are the energetic consciousness that I connect to and channel and communicate most to. What other experiences have you had actually in seeing? physical form? So multiple times I've taken friends to Joshua Tree. Joshua Tree is like a huge portal. It's happened three different times we've seen full on ships. There was a portal in the middle of the sky and all of these ships kept going from all over the sky to this portal and disappearing. I, I want to see a video. Show pics or it didn't happen. About people who had abduction stories. So I'm at the point where I definitely believe in extraterrestrials. Yes. But I'm I'm still yes. sort of extraterrestrials are just yet again another deception by your leaders viruses pandemics aliens cyber attacks you name it information for some people watching this they may be like what these girls right. are bad shit yeah. crazy no. full on that happens all the time and it's totally fine like i totally get it because if i weren't experiencing this reality it would seem insane to me it's so real and so undeniable for me that i don't really mind what other people think or what they feel i want to talk about the talking to aliens thing. yes there's a specific energy in essence a transmission that's coming through the light language but it's not specific words you wouldn't be able to translate this word means this word means this Word. It transcends beyond the ego's need to imprint. That's a get out of jail free card. Can't translate it though, your ego doesn't get it. And identify certain meanings with specific words. So what you're saying is the alien language transcends human language. Yeah, it transcends like the human realm entirely. It's like a cosmic stream of energy that is channeled through audible frequencies. But you still speak words. Yeah. In this language, do you know what you're saying? Yes. It's happened multiple times actually where I've used light language in challenging situations or times where I need to activate my power. External reality shifts instantly. I am not even kidding. I'm talking about miracles happening instantly, things changing. What has happened? I was in India and in a taxi on my way to a retreat and I had multiple hours to go and the man let me know that he was instead taking me to his house with other men and uh, was going to uh, do things to me and I had no, no service on my phone. I was in a country that I didn't know. And I sat there in meditation for a few seconds. A wave of energy came over me and I actually became extremely calm. And I looked at him, I was sitting in the back and he kept looking at me, smiling, laughing, thinking it was hilarious. You think you're a smart woman. He would say these weird things as I'm just sitting there meditating, like getting ready. He was like, but you got in the car with me, saying all these creepy things, trying to further Disgusting. activate my fear and make me feel less empowered. And I stared at him in the rear view mirror and I just started channeling light language. It was a strong and powerful, fully activated <laughs> portal of energy. It just fully came through. Staring at Honestly, me. good on you. You saved yourself. You started speaking in tongues. The Indian taxi driver started shitting his pants, afraid you're possessed. Great move. Him in the eyes didn't flinch. And it was like, yeah. It's the perfect rape defense. And within that second, he completely flinched, shifted, and turned the wheel so hard, literally almost like ripped us off the road. and was like, fine, have it your way. That's all he said, fine, have it your way. <laughs> and I proceeded to drive with this man for two hours and he dropped me off at my location. <laughs> oh my God. I have full body chills <laughs> as you're telling this story. 
<laughs> what you just spoke, it's so powerful. What was, what was I saying? The message. You had planned this thinking that you would succeed, but you have chosen the wrong one because it is not just this girl that sits back in the back of your car. I am a temple of energies of gods and goddesses streaming through to teach you a message. So it wasn't even- There we go, man. Gods and goddesses. Who created those gods and goddesses? Really just think about it rationally, man. How can you be a pagan in this day and age? Gods and goddesses, have they been created? Do they have a creator? Who is that creator? Why would you worship those beings and not your creator? About me. It was about this energy that needed to come through for him. Who knows? how many times he has done that or the people that he was doing it with have done it but that day i was meant to not only experience my own initiation and activation with him in like holy heaven but for him to experience a shift too but i also use light language to activate high frequencies of bliss and happiness and that's what i do through my songs it's the galactic connection and channel that has been able to reach those who resonate and people who are ready to like tap into this higher frequency awareness. Do you believe you're an alien? Definitely, definitely. <laughs> like I for sure, for sure, for sure, for sure, for sure am. Have for sure, for sure, for sure, for sure, for sure. If you repeat it 10,000 times, you're gonna believe it yourself. How are you an alien? Who are your parents? Do you about Explain. what's going on in the world no. currently? I do get confirmation that by 2024, there will be a physical landing where it is known by the mainstream that like aliens exist. Project Blue Beam. Within That's the next two years. Soon. Yeah, it's really soon. That's in two years. Yes. My mind is in a pretzel almost, but. <laughs> yeah, maybe you literally want to stop using human words and you want to speak light language. Yeah. So first we're going to be crystal portaling you, setting these crystals with divine intention. <sighs> Fully relaxing your nervous system. It's gonna take you on a little journey of sound. It's actually just the same as the charismatic Krish movement. They do the same, speaking in tongues. Nobody knows what they say. Eh, Shikia. Eh, Shikia, Shikanga. Come off, you don't have to open your eyes yet, though. It felt so good. What were you saying? I felt like this grandfather cosmic energy. Well, there's been lots, lots going on with my grandfather. And is he still on Earth, or? No, he died. Well, he's definitely one of your guides, absolutely. Yeah. You are like this cosmic granddaughter of like a specific mission. So with light language, it just comes naturally. It's just you allowing yourself, giving yourself your soul permission to make sounds, to be audible, wow. to hear and feel vibration through your expression of whatever wants to come through. I like want to believe this is real, mm -hmm. but then the human part of me is questioning it still. <laughs> it is natural and normal and that's- <laughs> The human part of me. Why don't you just say my common sense tells me this is nonsense? Part of the fun where it's like we forget so that we can remember. My fear is that I'm just gonna make things up. At first it may feel like that, but you have to give yourself permission because that's still the ego doubting. I'm gonna be speaking to you as well. It'll be a conversation. Okay, so like bringing your energy into our hands and let's activate the energy and holding it to your heart. And with this, opening up the gateway, the portal to your soul's language. Uh. So we're just gonna be like kind of moving the torso. No, basically like a serpent yet again. I feel like watching a soft porn. I just, oh yeah. It was It was It's beyond creepy, man. Let it speak. Let it speak through I you. I not 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 I I see. 
It's very sad actually. Yeah, <laughs> 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 Oh, yeah. It feels weird to say human oh, words after. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how to explain, yeah. but I it feels I have a full, like, healing. Yes, a full opening, a full clearage from your throat, from your expression, from speaking your truth. Yeah, I was coughing up energy blockages. Blockages. Yeah. My voice feels clear. Yes. I yeah. feel my voice feels different. Yes, stronger. Sounds the same. <laughs> yes. Your voice trusts you more. You trust your voice more. Keep doing it whenever you feel called to. Again, like, it is the best way to openly be able to express and purge any type of energy Ooh, or emotion. Okay. Mm. I didn't want to interrupt it. I wanted to see the whole ritual. I mean, you don't need me to tell you that this was possession. They're talking about energy blockages, about streams, channeling and whatnot. But ultimately, how do they know? They have no idea what is happening with their body in that state. Common sense will tell you that this is not good, but they do not see it. As I said, it's the same with the charismatic Christian movement. They do this in their churches. Somebody give God praise! <laughs> oh, come on, praise him! <laughs> My God, feel that! And they believe it is the Holy Spirit. Do you really think God wants you to behave like this? Do you really believe this comes from the ultimate source of goodness, your God? Think again. That thing can get it out like light language can. Your, your like cosmic <laughs> self is literally my best friend. I feel like you could know what I was saying. Fully yes yeah. the whole time. <laughs> At one point I just felt oh. like I was claiming my realm. Like this is my space to express. This is where I do what I do. This is where I am who I am. It does not concern me what yeah. people are gonna think about it. Yeah. This is a good natural end. <laughs> yes. Go check out Heather. Activation yeah. vibration. Hey. Links in the video description. Yeah. I have no idea, like, I call me whatever the f*** you think <laughs> about this. <laughs> really proud of you, you're amazing, Thank so you. magical. Thank you for all you do. Okay, that's it! <laughs> and the adventure continues! Alright guys, and this is it for today's video, long enough as it is. If you liked it, leave it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, guys, please do so. And if you want to support this channel, all the links are in the description box below. Thank you so much. As always, may God bless you all. Much love and peace.